So I uh, messed around a little bit with the uh, the sound. The sound might have been a little bit too uh, loud in uh, in the first video, but let's uh, let's continue. Hello, Mr. God. Whoa, this looks awesome. Whoa, they're walking on the ceiling. That's cool. Jesus Christ. That's pretty cool. This is a really interesting world. Oh, I think I saw uh, the the Wagmaster's place. It's right up ahead. Let's uh, talk. I hate this place. Really? I would love to live here. Probably not. This reminds me, kind of like, of Messiah. Uh, very similar to Messiah in many ways. Uh, let's talk to this guy. The poor creep fell forty feet to his death. Death. Wait. What? The 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 grab path up there must have malfunctioned. Makes you wonder if you really, uh, if you'll be ready when your number is up. Will you have lived the life you wanted to live? Wow, well, that's deep. Who died? Oh, that guy. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh hi. Who are you? You look lost. What are you trying to find? Transition minor on the section is Nothing. Are you sure you don't need a hospital? That thing? No. I'm going to Wag Master Jacks. Please keep area clear. The district of South Nagranox is not liable for injury or death resulting from plate transition. Stand by. Okay. Bye. So. The flop house was uh, where I could find that job thing. But I need to go to training, boxing. Well, that's another one of those things. Ah, Wake Master Jax. But I don't need to save them because I can save wherever. Oh, wow. Hello. What is this? Hi, are you Wagmaster Jack? Oh, you're pre Mabel. Fortunate, it is not. That, su uh, that such a place as this exists. Fortunate, is it not, that such a place as this exists? Sorry, I messed that up. I have nothing to fear in the dark of the night, for I have. I have BV whacking at my disposal. That sounds really. Oh, shit, I just ran into that guy. Hello? What the hell are you? I need to find Wack Master Jack. But do I really want to? What is this? Poot. I can access data links, but I paid big bucks to modify uh, PAL 18 to hotwire these suckers. I can't access data links. I don't want to hotwire it. I don't see the purpose in hotwiring it. I need to find Wack Master Jack. I don't know where he is. Um, this way? Wagmaster Jack! Whoa. What you do? Are you Jack? Yeah, I think this guy is Jack. No. Finian Palo. Come on, Hanan. Uh, take a swing. Those robo targets are, mist are making a joke out of you. Yeah, do something. Can't just stand around. Whack those cute little animals. Are you Whack Master Jack? You look like something from Star Trek. That's a Star Trek uniform. Yeah, that's Whack Master Jack. Judging by the choice or condition of that shiner, I suspect you're here to learn the fine art of the shuffle. The scuffle, sorry. I sometimes speak wrongly. The beat, the whack. Uh, yeah. No, then. I don't take loafers. What? And I don't take thieves. I take students. And I expect respect. Give me any lip and you'll fatten and I'll fatten it. Before we begin, however, there's the small matter of my training fee. Knowledge isn't cheap. 
but a mere five loonies, we can begin our first lesson. Uh, yeah, sure. Very good. Let's begin with a crash course on simple combat. The streets of Anachronox hide all manner of threat and you would do well to learn some basics. So this is kind of a tutorial, I guess. Come, step into the ring. If you're gonna learn the way of the whack, that's it. stop saying that. You better cut Jack Wise. What? You better cut Jack Wise and beef up on the fundamentals. Some of this will seem simple, basic even, but unless you got a firm grasp on of the firm grasp, you're gonna be coughing up teeth instead of wisecracks next time you're gonna scuffle. Got it? Yes. So let's learn the basic abilities and concepts that, that can make even a infirm bag of loose chains like yourself into a bastion of beethood. Wow, the, they speak weirdly in this world. The first of the basic abilities is might. It indicates how physically powerful you are in a fight. Something about that spare tire around your girdle tells me this ain't gonna be your forte. Forte. For, I don't know. Okay, might. Bad. Oh. Might is an important attribute for both your beefiness and your and beat skills. The second of these basic abilities is agility. Your agility is what makes you fast, graceful, and likely to avoid a licking. A true master of agility can dodge all but the most skilled attacks. Hell, someday you might even learn to dodge the, uh, that robot target behind me. That thing? Right now, though, I'm just see not seeing it, Tiger. Agility is an important attribute for your speed, beat, beat block skills. The third and last of the basic skills is wisdom. This one doesn't seem your forte either. Forte? I don't know. But let's hope yes, for your sake that it's still a brain cell. There's still a brain cell or, or two rattling around in there. Hold on a sec, Chief. I came here to learn how to fight. So far, all you've done is explain obvious concept while giving me the verbal smackdown. You're gonna teach me something useful or what? If you wanna learn something, take your medicine and brittle your tongue. If you get frazzled this easily, you're gonna get sandbagged by the first scrapper you look you lock horns with. If you wanna size up an enemy, on the quick and make uh, on the quick and make fast tactical decisions in the thick of the thick drop your pride and use your brain your brain squab wisdom boils down to intelligence and though you can drop an opponent with brains alone a spoonful of wisdom can make a little might go a long way. Wisdom is an important attribute for your beat block skill. These three main attributes, might, agility and wisdom, are what determines how good you are at all of your various skills. Until you really understand these obvious ideas, you're hopeless. Get me? Now pay attention to the main skills used in battle are beefiness, beat, speed and beat block. That's some weird words. Your beefiness is your ability to deal large amounts of raw damage. Your beat is how good you are at hitting someone. Your speed is how fast you can attack. And your beat block allows you to avoid getting hit by your opponents. So bad, poor, fair and fair. Is that my current skills or is that just a generic picture? With me, squab. Self-improvement what separates us from the animals. So does a high-tech caliber beat pistol, which is noticeably absent from your personal person. Someone broke my gun, okay? It's not my fault. Yeah, well, about that. See, I save it. It happens when your clientele are mostly deadbeats. 
I'll let you have this old Viston pistol. Oh, nice. It's old, it's beat up, but it's better than a bare knuckles blood fight. I agree. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, always have your weapon equipped at all times. The last thing you want to worry about is when alley goons are kicking your teeth into kibble, is getting out with your sidearm and loading it. Here, take it and equip it. Now let's see if you can shoot straight, boss. Did I equip it? Hi! Uh, oh, <laughs> why did it say hi? Okay, now, this is what looks like whatever you get into battle. As soon as a fight breaks out, your battle plague will appear. It contains all your information and commands you need to fight. Okay? Whenever it's your turn to cut in combat, battle icons will appear above the plague. These allow you to select your next move in battle. Use the attack icon to try and plant a blow to your enemy. When you click on it, icons for all hostiles in the immediate vicinity appear. Use them to choose which one to attack. A lot of tutorial in these first videos probably. The move icon allows you to sidestep to, an, to other points in the battle arena. You can only select it if there's a place to move. You can discuss this in we can discuss this in more detail later if you decide to continue your training. The item icon allows you to use an item from your inventory. Again, will only be able to select if you have a badly usable item in your inventory. This we can also discuss further. Okay. The action icon allows you to use something in the immediate environment. Oh that's pretty cool, but only if you can reach it from where you're standing. This too we can, yeah, yeah, blah blah blah, talk about it later. Oh, we, we, we're fighting. Oh. Yeah, you might have, you might have noticed as the circle filling up on your battle plate. This, my friend, is your battle timer. You would do well to pay attention to it. You can only perform actions when it reaches full. Okay. Once it's filled up, try shooting the robo target using the attack uh, icon, then clicking on his battle icon. You can cancel the attack by right clicking on your mouse or by hitting escape. Uh, attack and him. Oh, that's awesome. Kind of reminds me of the old Final Fantasy VII. I never completed that game. I have it. Maybe I should play it. Oh, you bastard. Ha! You think, uh, did you think he would just take a poke without fighting back? Can't stir up the a hornet's nest without getting stung. That's why it's important to keep your eye on your health. Your health bar shows you how much life, there's a lot of reading, life you have left. Looks like he landed quite a wallop, yeah. Go ahead and take another shot at him and then we'll move on. Okay. Attack. And that guy. Yeah. Take that. Oh god, no. He's gonna hurt me. He disappeared. Not bad, kid. But you need to loosen up. You hold the gun like it's a dead rat. You got you gotta wrist it better. You got plenty of potential, but don't let it go to your head, especially after seeing what that robot droid did to you with one hit. Yeah, that wasn't really that good. You're gonna need a ton of t t t tutoring if we're gonna shape you up into a bastion of unstoppable beathood. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't normally do this, but you can't learn or pay me if you're dead. Some porker once paid me with a life cursor shield upgrade. Since I don't even own one, why don't you take it? Oh. Really? No, really. You caught me on a generous day. Go ahead and apply the upgrade. I'm curious to see if it's got any guts. I don't understand. So, I got a shield now or something? Is that what this did? It filled up this thing. Now that we've spiced up your life cursor, which is this thing, I think, 
you'll notice a new battle icon and a full bar that we haven't discussed yet. Oh god. Pay attention. Here's the fun stuff. This new icon is for your battle skill. Battle skills are special moves that you can perform during battle. They're quite powerful, but require special energy to execute, unlike beat attacks that you can do every turn. This spe special energy, which slowly accumulates during battle, is called Spoke. Boke? Boach? Boke? I don't know. Something. Keep track of how much you have left with your bar. Note that the different battle skills require different amounts of this thing. But enough talk, let's use your new battle skill by clicking on the battle skill icon, selecting the battle skill of your choice and then clicking on your image. Well, I'll just figure that one out. Battle skill! Galactica! Uh, battle skills. Wait, what? I don't get what's going on. Oh, hey, Fatima. Oh, I have a shield now, I guess. That's pretty cool. Let's cut it up, boy. So, I'm more protected now. Excellent. Last time the robot target hit you for 72 damage. With the upgrade screen, he only hit you for 36. Quite a difference. Yes. It's more than half. No, wait. It's it's exactly half. <laughs> I did, I'm not good at math. Well, congratulations, Squab. He you survived your first lesson. Now that you know the basics, we can build on them. As part of the introductory offer to the Temple of Beating, every new client gets two Heal Grease Plus at the end of their first lesson. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Yay! Judging by the way the robot beat you around, you're gonna need it. Well, fuck you. Well, thank you and fuck you. Come grab me again when you're ready for your next lesson. I don't know about this whack master and jacking and grabbing this stuff. This is kinda freaky. Ah, boot gained a level. Yay! Can I do anything? Like, upgrade my level. How do I get into... No, that's not what I want to do. Can I, like... Do I have... No? Okay. So now I have this and this. And I have... Wait, where's my gun? Oh, there's my gun. Pix luck skilled. Can I, like, put some points into stuff? It's a long, it's a long while till I level up. Can I... Oh. Oh, okay. So it's not that kind of uh, experience system, I guess. Well, I think I've had enough of... Uh, fighting, training, for now. Let's uh, go somewhere else. Because I feel like a lot of the things that he's going to explain about uh, all of the different things I feel like they were quite simple and you should be able to figure that out on your own and if that's, that's not the case then I'll come back but I really felt like that was a lot of tutorial right there but yeah this game seems like it's super awesome and I'm giving a super great frame rate I mean like it right, right there I was like at 180 I mean, 180 frames per second, and I'll, uh, by the way, I don't know which way to go. I'm lost. Am I going this way? Uh, no. I'm going, ah, this way. Here we go. Ah, okay. So, hi. Uh, Mystic Museum, no. 
I'm going to the fountain. I don't remember why. Whoa, look at that guy. He's just sliding down. <laughs> He's just sliding down. That's pretty cool. What the hell? That was odd. Can I do that? No. Oh, damn it. There's no jump button in this game, by the way. It's kind of disappointing. Whoa. Is this like a fountain? I'm gonna talk to this weird looking guy. Oh, that's a robot fling bot? I fling things for a buck. Well, that's. kind of reminds me of Benda. A robot that only bends. This is a robot that only flings things. Some fountain, huh? They just call it that because no one knows what else it, to call it. So no one knows what that is? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I hope people know what that is. Uh, what's the flop house? Oh, that's the flop house. Oh, wait. Can I get up there? No? How do I get up there? I wanna go, uh, go see that guy up there. Platform area. This way. Oh! Shit. Um. Fuck you, pal! Oh god, this is not good. Oh shit. Warning. Warning. Transition, Transition minor oblique sections 28, 15, 15 31, 31, and 9. Fatima screens. In 15 seconds. Let's get that uh, protection up. I like this fighting system, that's pretty cool. The district of South Carolina for injury or death resulting from play transition. So far, I'm loving this game. Ow, you dick! Okay, here we go. Oh shit! He's really uh, dealing damage to me. I'm gonna die now. Yeah. I'm dead. Oh god. Uh. Now what? Am I just dead now? Is this game over? Huh. Well, what do you know? A game over. Uh, so that's, uh, that's right, that's actually right, um, after I left. Oh well, let's, uh, go back. I should have used a health healing item. Oh, that's the sliding guy again. <laughs> I love that guy. He's a cool dude. I'm gonna briefly talk to these two again. I don't think it makes any difference, but you know, just for the fuck of it. Okay, this movement system can be a little bit annoying. I hope you're okay with this not being widescreen. There's really not much I can do about it. Not with this, this version of the game. I wanna go down here. Actually, I don't. I wanna go here. Getting that up immediately. Oh shit, I forgot I need to click it. I just assumed it would get up. Okay. So we get some protection up immediately. And then I have to remember yeah, I have some healing items that I can use if it's necessary. But yeah, look at that. It's already uh, a much better start. Awesome. Okay. If he gets one hit more in, I think I'm gonna use my health item. Oh god. See, that was what was wrong the last time. He kinda got an extra hit before I didn't expect him to get. So I'm using a health item now. Warning. Warning. Transition minor on late sections 28, 15, See, that was a good thing. Oh, I wonder if I could have healed him. That would have been terrible. 
How much health? Oh, almost. Oh, full health? Oh, that's awesome. Come on, you bastard. Just die already. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you. That's all I needed to do. Just say that. Awesome. Yeah! In your face, bandit guy. Boots gains 1000 XP. Nice. Did I get anything else? Huh? What do I do here? Oh, oh I did get 100 bucks. Nice. And a heal grease plus. <laughs> nice. Is that something? Blah, boxers crawling onto the, on that thing. Yeah, I don't want to touch that then. Uh, how do I? Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. This reminds me of Prey. Prey is an amazing game. If you haven't played Prey, you should check it out. I think the sequel, Prey 2, is kind of cancelled, unfortunately. Um, This is not where I want to go. I wanted to... Uh, let's just go to the flop house. Uh, but, yeah, what I wanted to do was... Get up there, talk to that dude. Okay, Frank's flop house is this way, I think. Hello? Where's Frank's flop house? I should have asked that guy for directions. Wait, how did I get back here? I am so confused. Oh, I went up down there, that's right. So is it this way? But that took me to the casino! Or something. Maybe it's just called the ca casino. Maybe it's not really a casino. Uh, let's talk to this cop dude. What did he look like? Oh shit, that's been a crime. Amy Scarmason. Bandana and ponytail, I think. I don't remember. It happened so fast. I'm pretty sure he was shirtless and his nipples were pierced. Oh, okay. And I think I caught a whiff of spasm perfume. Hmm. Did you notice anything funny about his eyes? Now that you mention it, one eye was completely red. Then he's a member of the Junkyard 20 gang. The numbers have grown ever since the sca the scarred fools disband after the sewer wars. Scarred fools? That's a that's a silly gang name. Admission to the twenty uh, to the junkyard twenty demands a painful rite of passage. They hollow out the inductee's left eye with a coruscant heat fork. Ah, and some disinfection acid. Then a ruby ropey eye cup is stuffed C into the empty socket. That sucks. Will commence in 15 seconds. Shut up. I doubt we'll find your purse, ma'am. But I'll, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, officer. Keep You're so unbelievably nice for a black scar. Can I talk to her? Stand by. Would you like me to walk you home, ma'am? Heavens no, my dog would disown me. Now that's high comedy, folks. I don't get it. Hey, shut up. I, I really don't. Oh, who are you? They're warning women to avoid loitering near transition areas. Oh, okay. Can I... Like, no. Oh. Uh... Yeah, let's uh, head on up with the elevator, or down, in this case I guess down. Huh, interesting. <laughs>